Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. As the title suggests, working with cars for right now, but this could be used for pretty much anything. Um, say you're building a stunt track or whatever, and you want to play around with your cars, drive around the track, do whatever. It'd be nice to have a respawn system because. What happens if, oh no, ugh, I just got stuck? And a simple respawn system would come in quite handy. And of course, I can hit R and just respawn back at the very start. But that would get kind of annoying after a while because, well, you don't want to have to start all over again if you've gotten, you know, most of the way through the track and all of a sudden now, oh crap, I gotta start back at the beginning again. If you're building a game where you want other players to have fun, they would probably find that annoying as crap, too. Yay, I actually made it. Um, so what I want to do is build a checkpoint system that will set my location for respawn so I don't start back at the very beginning again. So it's not really that difficult of a system. Now, in this part of the track, as I'm going, making my first jump, okay, I'm good. There's really nothing to worry about. But maybe put an, a checkpoint here because I cleared this obstacle. But I don't want to respawn here because then I got to make the turn and everything else. So maybe I'll respawn right here, facing this direction. So now I can come over here, and as soon as I clear this obstacle, then maybe right here, set up another respawn or a checkpoint to respawn me. But I can actually respawn my car back here, so I can drive forward, get a little forward momentum, and clear over this. And then maybe do another checkpoint here, you know, and, and feel out where I want to put them on the map. So I need to make it flexible, so when I place the thing down, the collision box that I'm going to drive through is actually going to register, I have just cleared this checkpoint, okay? But then I also want to have a known spawn location for this. So how are we going to do this? Okay, let's go to my assets folder, gadgets, and I'm going to create a blueprint, actor, checkpoint, master. Okay, inside here I'm going to need a couple things, and First of which, I want to add in a box collision. We're going to call this our checkpoint box. Going to click off of that, and then I want an an icon or something that I can see. Perhaps you know, it, I'm not really going to worry about it for now, though. But I will. Um, set up a variable system in here. So what I need is go ahead and compile and save. Since I'm just doing a checkbox, what I will do for now is I will uncheck hidden in game for now so that I can see it and scale it and that, that kind of stuff. So I'll be able to see it. I, I want to, to, to see it. And then I want a respawn location and I am going to make this into a transform and compost and save and I don't need any of this stuff right here so what I need to do is right click on component begin overlap the actor that we are using is our sports car for now um, but if you're using a player class or whatever that would go here. Whatever your character is is controlling whenever it crosses this checkpoint, we want to cast to our... and I don't remember what the hell I called it. Uh, sport... so cast to PC sports car. That is our car that we are actually operating. And what we're going to do here is get a reference to our checkpoint box and we need a get world 
transform actually I'm gonna go back and get world location because we we just want a location here um, hmm. I'm gonna come back to this uh, because what we're trying to do is this location isn't going to be as important right now so we do need to make sure that the respawn location is set so we need to set our respawn location all right so if I compile and save this is what we got we got our location and our rotation those are the two that we need to focus in on setting so let's take a look at this and let's set one into the map and as soon as I set it in you'll notice that I can see it now we need to make it wide wide enough to cover this whole section here try to get it centered up in here so easy enough as long as the vehicle crosses over this um, individual checkpoint and let's move it over here um, actually let's move it a little bit farther uh, make sure that it's good to go So for some reason we're super in the air, we still need to be able to clear this checkpoint. So I'm just going to make it the height of the map there, same as the wall. So we're doing that. Now I'm going to use, um, for this one, we need to... Actually, I hate to do this, but I'm going to, no, I'm going to delete EU, because now I need to go ahead and see what happens when we do a child. Um, checkpoint zero 01, we go into it, we have that, and where is our variable? Um, actually, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. So we're just going to make a copy of that. We'll leave that as our master. We're not going to actually edit that one. Uh, let's um, delete it. And I'm just going to make a copy of it. And we'll call this one checkpoint01. It's only going to be for this individual map. And again, just lay out your box. We just need it to be here. We don't have to make it super long. We just want our player to broach through this and set that variable. So that's good enough. So to find the location for that, let's close you down. And I'm going to get rid of the master. I was going to do the child actor, but let's just keep it simple for now. Um, so when we have this, we're setting our respawn location. And we need to get that information from somewhere. So let's actually go ahead and... We need to break it. This rotation, or this right here, if we have this selected... It is exposed, so we click on this guy, go to our details panel, 
and here's our, our transform, that's our location. Um, respawn location is right here, and we can set that information up right there. So to get a location for that to actually go on, I'm just going to grab any item whatsoever, doesn't matter, and I am going to drag it into the map. And actually, want something that actually has an arrow to it. So I'm going to grab one of my gadgets. I'll grab whatever, the coin. Um, and I don't see an arrow. So I'll just make something really quickly. And we'll just do blueprint class, actor, and this is just going to be um, locator. Go in here and I want to add an arrow so that I can see the location that is pointing. And just for giggles, I'm going to add in the traffic cone. Add component. There we go. And I'll grab our arrow. Compile, save. So now, if I go back into my gadgets, and I want to put my locator in a certain location, I will drop it down. I want it to be right in the middle here. So we're lined up that way. So if we come over here and this will be our respawn location. Our arrow is pointing in the wrong direction, so we need to change that. So we'll set our rotation. And our arrow component. To keep it simple, when we set up our respawn location, what we're going to do is we want to add, we'll say 150 to that number. So let's save all. Save selected. Now, we can use the transform information from this. And you know me, I gotta have everything symmetrical. Negative 16, 500. And... 6,000. And... 5. Good enough. So it's on the ground. It's there. We got our information that we need. We can actually copy the location. So for this checkpoint that we've got now, we can right click and paste. That information is saved. We can go back to our locator again, right click on our rotation, copy, go back to our checkpoint, and paste. Now, in our vehicle, since we're going to use our sports car as our, our vehicle, we have a new location. So, we're going to create a new variable. Respawn. We're going to set this as a transform. Compile and save. Now, we need this information to be in here. So, in our respawn, we're going to leave a default of our negative 19,000, 19,000, and we'll do 150. And our rotation is negative 90. So we, we've got that information saved in there. And it is now default. So I'm going to grab this, get respawn, and since this information is a transform, we need to break the transform. 
We need to post our location to here and our rotation to Kyong. Should not be necessary, but let's go ahead and get a reference to self. And that should be that. Now our checkpoint, our respawn location is there. It's being set in the thing here. Um, we need to what do we call this? Respawn. Set respawn to the information that we get from here. Now we don't have this information in there right now, so we do need to test this out and see what's what. We want this as we're going. If we hit R, responses us back at the start. So now I want to be able to, to get through this um, checkpoint here. And we've made it. And... Oh, well, we left the traffic cone there. So if I hit R now... Um, I've put my information in incorrectly, or it just went to zero, zero, zero. Okay, so our checkpoint information wasn't saved. All right, let's go back over here. I click on this right here. That's good. Respawn information is stored right there. And in our gadgets, since we call this checkpoint one, let's just go ahead and copy this information in. Our respawn location. Actually, let's put this at 150. And our locator. Well, we can actually just grab it from here. Copy and paste. So it's going to get this information here that we've stored in it. And it's going to cast to our our character and set that respawn location so right now our respawn is at the start so if I go through here that should set my checkpoint now if I hit R why in the hell are you setting my location to there Respawn transform. Why are you not what I told you to be? So, fine, be that way. Um, this is my default spawn location. We've gotten the locator inf information. We know where it's located. the checkpoint we cast to our our vehicle we set our respawn location to tell our character to now use that same new location I can mouse over right now I see the defaults of it right here but when we overlap this box we need to cast to our character and send this information to here So hitting R right now will just respawn us here and we'll we'll pop in. It is losing that information and setting us at 000 location. And it should not be because 
this has an actual location and rotation that we've given it to change this variable press R to respawn our respawn is defaulting to this I love how something as simple as this right here is fighting me <coughs> Um, why are you, is that the correct location? Yes, it is. And our location should be at 150 for this particular item. We don't need to do that. Sorry, I'm not been well lately. We need to get a reference to this and not set a reference to this. Wow. Uh, that's what happens whenever you're trying to do things whenever you don't feel well. Okay, so now that we got our heads out of our buttocks, let's see if this works. Jump and we've set it so now I can hit this and since I did not remove my locator pin I spawn on top of it so let's actually move it out the way it works I was just I set the wrong variable in all right so now when we're driving through here we got this information we needed. We drive through and we have just set our new checkpoint. So now whenever I get over here and I'm driving and for some reason I screw up and I can't make it. So I hit respawn, hit the R key rather to respawn and it puts me right back there. Now we need to start laying down some other checkpoints. Of course, I made it perfectly. So, we can just now add a new checkpoint in. So, we will make check a point two. We can duplicate this one, and it automatically changes the name to checkpoint two. Uh, we can close these guys out because we don't need them now. Go into checkpoint two. And we're going to have to change this information. Um, in theory, we should be able to set it. Let's grab the locator. So we're going to respawn here. And I want to make sure that I am centered up on my obstacle as much as possible, if at all possible. and drag it back here so we can actually respawn here. Now the actual checkpoint itself we've just cleared this checkpoint so now we need to put checkpoint 2 in so if we have cleared this checkpoint then we can save it and go to the next one So we want our player to be able to breach through this and our respawn location is still sitting here at this but we need this information negative 1650 16500 okay so um Eleven thousand looks good for me and five. So I'm actually going to right click on this, copy, go to checkpoint two, and I'm gonna try setting it here and see if that actually works this time, now that I've got the right thing. And paste. 
We're going to change this to 150. Our directions should still be the same. So if we hit save all, save selected, now let's see what happens. We're going to drive around our track and trip checkpoint one. And yeah, we can cheat now, but uh, we'll drive through here. And we've made it through this checkpoint. And we failed. So I hit this. I just need to move you out of the way. And we're good. So if I, I just hit it now, I'm, I'm going to go back to the start location. Then here, as soon as I clear this, I can set it. There we go. And now I'm going to make this jump. Reset, and I'm here. Oh no, I didn't make it, so I'll respawn, and there we go. So we got to clear this obstacle, we'll put another one right here, and now we can save our progression as we go. So, checkpoint 2 is good, we didn't have to change the variable inside, which is fine, so now I'm just going to duplicate, that makes checkpoint 3. I'm just going to drag it right here. Now here's the thing is, what if the driver chose to avoid this obstacle? then screw them. They'll just start from back here and come back around. If they were trying to make this and they failed, then we want to give them the new checkpoint then. So we don't care if they, they went the easy route. If they went the easy route and screwed up, then they can just go back to a different point. So we are good to go with this one. We just need to grab our locator. Bring it on down here. Figure out where we want to go. So, you know what? We can just set our new respawn location to be right here. Our arrow is still facing in the correct direction, so we don't have to change this number. Um, we will do this. Fifth, yeah, sixteen hundred. No, sixteen thousand. Dumbass. So again, we can just right-click on here and copy. Go over here, respawn location, paste. Set it to one fifty. And everything else should be good to go. Save it. And now we'll respawn here. So I will go ahead and move you out of the way. So, again, if we start from scratch, we're driving on the track. Oh, we screwed up. Let's respawn. We start back here. So, I, again, I've left them visible. I'll go back in there and, and before I get cra uh, crazy with this, I can turn them off. I know where they are. I screwed that up. Okay, well, now we're good. Yay, I'm driving. Ooh. Well, I cleared the checkpoint. So, let's go ahead and try to make this one. Oh, I didn't make it. So, I'll respawn, and I'm right here. Start it up again. And I failed again. So, our respawn is working, so let's check our final respawn location, and we'll finish up this video. So now I've made it around here, and all of a sudden I, whatever, respawn, I respawn right here. So our checkpoint system is working, everything works as it should, so let's go back into our checkpoints, and hidden in game. Compile, save, gone. Two, same thing, checkbox, hidden in game, 
compile and save. We can see it in the when we're editing it and putting the new one down. So not really necessary to, to turn this on and off, but I just wanted to show what it looked like. So now if we hit play, we no longer see them in the map. We know where they are. We're good to go. And they're semi-logical on the location. I've jumped over this. Yay. And ooh. Okay. If for some reason I need to respawn, I'm just going to respawn right here. And that gets me set up for this jump right here. So if I miss this jump and I respawn again, I'm right here, so I have to try this jump again. So it allows us to set up a state for going through. We just cleared a checkpoint, and yay, we cleared another checkpoint. So I hit respawn, it puts me right back here again. So that's a simple respawn location um, and checkpoint system. Um, you can have particle effects, sound, whatever you go through it. Uh, sound, particles, whatever. You can have like explosions or fireworks. You just cleared a checkpoint and all kind of cool junk. Now what if I turned around and I went back this way? Well, I went through that checkpoint again and there you go. You don't want to destroy that checkpoint. So what if somebody came back and they wanted to try this one again? Eh, didn't make it. So they can just run through that checkpoint again and try to get lined up for it. There we go. And what happens if you just wanted to come around and come from this direction? You're setting that checkpoint again. Ow. Oh. So, there you go. Simple checkpoint system for creating whatever you want. I mean, you can, like I said, if you've got particle effects, or and I don't really have any particles in here. This is the... Um, the prototype pack and they didn't include but just this for particle effects if you want to add in a particle effect for it and a sound um, let's just do checkpoint one um, you could add them into right here and then every time your player goes through there you, you get that effect um, whatever you could also set up a, a system in the your character and whenever it does it it just like we did for setting this um, variable right here in the character you could have it fire off a custom event and that custom event in your player character is going to play a particle effect play a sound and then it'll just dispense it'll go away all right guys thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you soon